I know you're awake. Your calm, steady breathing has changed. It's okay. You can open your eyes. There's nothing scary around. I promise. Hello there. See? No monsters here. Just me. Your eyes are so pretty from up here. Aww. <laughs> Cutie. Are you blushing? You're not used to compliments, are you? Such a shame. A cutie like you should be reminded of how precious they are every day. Your hair is very soft, you know. I could curl it around my fingers and rub in between my fingertips forever. You know, I always wanted a boyfriend like you. Shorter than me by just the right amount. So shy, he goes bright red when I tease or praise him. And too shy to make a fuss when I visit him like this. Oh, did I scare you a bit? I'm sorry, pumpkin. I promise, it's nothing to worry about. Your sister says I get very dominant and possessive when I truly want something. Or, in this case, someone. That's right, cutie. I mean you. I have had a crush on you for a long while now. I couldn't help myself but to take this opportunity. Your bedroom door was open, and your sleeping face was so cute. Aw, baby. You're getting a bit restless. Now, now, there's no need for that. Let me just... There we go. Now you're all snug in my embrace. I figured the less slack there is between us, the better I can soothe you. Here, I know just how to calm down a shy boy like you, pumpkin. Some head scratches are just what you need. How is that? Are you feeling better? I could feel the tension leaving you. Here, rest your head on my chest, pumpkin. Shh, it's okay. Shh, there you go. No fuss. Good boy. You like the sound of that? You like when I call you a good boy? Cutie. If you get any redder, you'll glow in the dark. So precious. Your eyes look heavy. That's okay. You just go back to sleep. I want to see your sleeping face again before I go back to your sister's room. Are you hugging me back? <laughs> Aw, cutie. You know, if you want more of this, you can come sleep over at my house. I have a brother about your age, and our parents both work night shifts most of the time. I know you two aren't really friends, but he owes me a big favor. We will say you two are bonding over a new hobby. And I can melt your thoughts like this all over again. You are being such a good boy for me. I'm inclined to reward you. Show me your forehead, pumpkin. Aww, is that a smile? Yes, it is. You can't hide it from me. I can see all of you from up here. I take it you don't mind my confession?
good because I'm not letting you go, cutie. And if you start having second thoughts, I'll just have to take you with me. My room is very comfortable. I'll show it to you later. You promise you won't? Oh, you truly are my precious good boy. I think you deserve more rewards. But I can't spoil you that much just yet. Next time, you will come over to my house, and I'll give you all the rewards you are due, cutie. Now, time for you to get some rest. Seeing your desk, you were clearly all tuckered out after taking care of your studies. So, listen to your girlfriend, like the good boy we both know you are and get some sleep.